Hello friends and welcome to episode 16 of Storyteller Plays Fantasy Life for the 3DS. In the last episode, I progressed the story a bit, made it to the deep woods and saved Layla's life. Also, Butterfly finally revealed her true identity as Eulalia, which is A, really obvious, and B, I've been cracking jokes about it this whole time. I have brought our guests, O oh Great Spirit. Mm, yes. Was it something sh we said? Great spirit, your human voice, please. My apologies, how is this? Much better. I shall lower my voice so that it may be soft upon the eardrums of the humans. My new friend, the hour of reckoning is at hand. When the dark stones fall and Lunares clouds over, Reveria must join four hands together again. A promise was made to the goddess Celestia. No, oh, I guess it's Celestia, not Celeste. Pfft. They totally ripped off uh, that My Little Pony show. A promise must be honored. And come together, children of humans. And children of the forest. Children of Lunaris. Huh? Who's the child of Lunaris? Me. You're... Wait, what? You're from Lunaris? The Lunaris? The one up in the sky? That's the one. Sorry, I guess that was a bit of an abrupt reveal. Thou art the daughter of the goddess Celestia. Is this... Er, uh, is that not so, child of Lunaris? Well, I guess the cat's out of the bag now. How can you be the daughter of a goddess? Or the, the goddess. It's only the one. Mm, things have come a long way from being shocked at seeing a talking butterfly. You weren't exaggerating when you said you came from very, very far away. Now it makes sense why you knew so little about life in Reveria. I thought you were just kind of oblivious. Ha, yes, well... Mm, that I may still be, your world is very different from the one I come from. What is that thing? It looks like some kind of giant talking bear, bro. Let's go pet it. Don't be a fool. That monster is likely to gobble us up as a snack. I don't think that's no monster, bro. I like it. I think we should try to take it back home with us to Castel. Great spirit, there is a question I must ask of you. Yes, child of Lunaris. Do you creatures and beasts of nature have wish, uh, uh, wishes, just as people do? Hoo ha ha! An amusing question, my child. Might I answer it with a question as well? Of course. What would you, uh, what would make you ask such a thing? Well, it seems to me if all beings, creatures, and even spirits had wishes, why then? Then their wishes could be used to help save Reveria as well. Well, you are speaking of two different things, child of Lunaris. Most creatures of nature do not foster their own wishes. This allows the doomstones to affect them. However, we spirits are a different matter. We have evolved to... Well, we have evolved past this base level, similar to humans. But we have leaned... Uh, yeah, we have leaned to nature. Or learned. We have learned to na nurture our own wishes on a path to a different... A uh, path that is different from humans. It is thine own mother who encouraged us to find our own way while still coexisting with humans. My mother was here long ago. Long ago indeed, and she asked me, just as you have asked now, about the wishes of all of nature's creatures. She showed us whom, uh, yeah, she showed us how humans lived. So that we may reach a greater understanding of all beings who inhabit Reveria. Because of this, our children have the power to bridge the gap between the humans and the spirit world. And so you say that I am heir of one of those childrens? In children? Indeed, thou art an heir to one of the human children who inhabit the world beyond the forest. But there are others here, like Layla and myself. I sense the presence of a dear friend who comes to us after a long... Uh, after a... After too long of an absence. Mother? I am glad to see you are well, great Dantu. Uh, Danuta. I sense you have grown more leaves since I last saw you. And so, this is the great spirit of the forest. I guess it wasn't just a legend after all. What are you two doing here? Hughes, where have you been? We could have used your help earlier. Your child possess this, uh, possesses the same fires of youth that you had at that age, Lady Ophelia. She can indeed be quite a reflection of myself. It is one of her saving graces, he he. The last time I was here, I was indeed a child. I remember it like it was a decade ago. 
Hee hee, yes. Very funny, Great Dantu. I'm glad to see you have not lost your sense of humor. What is a life if not the time uh, when one finds room for laughter? Yes. Life can be many things. Some of us prefer to spend our days working rather than engaging in trifles. We have been busy gathering the goddess treasures. Thus far, we have the goddess Cog, the goddess Anchor, the go and the goddess Compass. Oh my, you have been busy, human. We truly have been, great spirit. Though, these, uh, through these travels, we've met so many interesting people and seen many splendid things. And yet, all of this splendidness has brought us to an impasse. For legend tells that the goddess bestowed the fourth treasure to a race that was not human. We believe the goddess did bequeath such a gift to you and your people. This is the final treasure we desire. O oh, great spirit, spirit, and tell us of your treasures. Do you always speak like this? Mm, no, I thought that's how people talked to you my first time here, sorry. Well then, if I may speak plainly, it is clear that these treasures are mere parts of a greater whole. Or should I say, a greater hull. Like for a ship? The poofy-haired human speaks accurately. Yes, I love it when I'm affirmed by big spirit bears. You are speaking of the mythical goddess ship of legend, yes? It really exists? It is interesting how you speak of myth and legend as if it were untrue. The goddess ship is from an ancient time for you, but for me it was a mere centuries ago. Such lengths of time are but drops in a greater ocean for us. We see eons ago, we see lives pass, we see wishes live and die, and yet the spirit tree watches all. I've never come across anything called a spirit tree in any of my research. It's something that Mother used to talk about, a symbol of everlasting life reaching to the heavens. My children, it is time that you ascend the spirit tree. There you will find what you seek. I shall now bequeath upon you the... Uh, upon thee that which the life goddess Celestia granted to unto me. I have long watched over it, and now I entrust its care to thee. Obtained the goddess deck wheel. Indeed, the god or handed over the goddess deck wheel. I know words. The fourth goddess treasure. Thank you, great spirit. I'll guide you up to the spirit tree. Uh, it's easy to get lost. No, it isn't. You two might as well come too. Uh, us? Uh, we were just lost, you know. We had stopped here to check out this bush here. Yeah. We was looking for this bush, but it turns out this isn't the right one at all, so we should go. Nonsense, you two helped save my sister, even if you didn't mean to. Please come. Are you ready for this, Yuelia? I hope so. I'm excited. I can't stop shaking. Let's go, Satu, to the spirit tree. Mm, Satu, we're coming with you, of course. How you doing, Danuda? Climb the spirit tree freely, my friends. So who is Dantu? I think Dantu might be the forest spirit from uh, Swords and Magic and stuff. This is a big tree, but I don't think we could have easily got lost. Are we... are we on the ground? Are we gonna fall? Bro, I didn't know you were scared of heights. I'll have you know I have a medical condition called... Uh, uh, height or archophobia. Yes. There it is. Wow, the goddess ship. And to think it has sat here all these years. I can't believe it, my mother's ship. So, I know it's old and dull, but um, does it work? Good question. It looks quite well kept. The entry is open. You must, yeah, you may enter at your leisure. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. an ancient vessel. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Just follow Hughes. Stunning, so clean, so polished. How, how has it been maintained in such a preserved state? Is it the power of the spirit tree? And the great Danuta that has protected the tree, allowing the goddess ship to be safely preserved? I love, I love the view from up here. You can see Reveria in all its splendor. Oh, how I wish Eric could be here to see this. Mother, does father even know you're here? Did you sneak out with the rope ladder? Oh, your father knows, although he was vehemently opposed to me going, or my going, vehemently. 
You know how stubborn he can get. I have no choice but to use the strongest weapon in my arsenal. Your father has always had a soft spot for apple pie. After that, he was much more open to reason. Oh, Daddy, he worries too much. I'm going to end up shrink, uh, shrinking him even more. Or it's going to end up shrinking him even more. Let's go inside the ship, Satu. Yes, let's do it. I love this game. I just wish I could read. How are you doing, Chompy? What? Okay, that's fair. Also, yes, I still have my infinite stamina on. Leave me alone. Ooh, there's nothing over here. This seems like somewhere they would hide a secret, but I guess not. Secret tunnel. Gotta find all the secrets. There's nothing over here either, but I suppose at some point in the story, NPCs are up here. How are you doing, Queen Ophelia? I wonder if my husband is alright at the castle. He's probably just eating apple pie. Ah, oh, they got a ship. I keep walking around in circles because I'm looking for anything not nailed down. I can't believe it. This was Mother's ship. Fascinating. Yes, yes. Hmm, aha. Uh -huh. But if that goes in there, then that must mean... Then this must come out here, which would mean this... Hughes. Oh, sorry, Princess. I didn't realize anyone else was in here. How does it look? It looks glorious. The ship itself is in mint condition. The mechanisms are all in place. I'm still not certain of all the intricacies of the engine. I think I understand the basic structure, but I still need a bit of more time with it. I still bit... Yes. You, Elia? Hmm. Take a look at this. What are those books? I'm not sure. I'm unfamiliar with these symbols. Oh, that's music. This is not music. It's a book. <laughs> no, it's sheet music. Musicians read it while they perform, so they know what to play. Ah, I see. Don't tell me you've never seen sheet music before. No, where I come from, music simply flows from the heart. Well, la-di-da, in Reveria, we're not all natural-born musicians. Uh, looks like these are all folk songs. I don't know this one, though. I feel like, like I know these songs somehow. It's almost as if I've been here before. You know, I really have a few, uh, I really have so few memories of my mother, but one thing I do recall is her sweet singing voice. It was so lovely. I would give anything to hear her sing again. Don't worry, I feel like you will. Leave the goddess ship, but we just got here. It's a pile of books. What do we see here? Uh, they're all written in some strange characters. You cannot read them. It's a shame. So our character canonically cannot read sheet music. Ooh. It's some sort of map, but it doesn't depict Bavaria or any place you know. Huh? There's no land there at all. It's just some star symbols. What's this about? Could be a star map. Okay, let's go. This ship is bringing back so many vague memories for me. I recall Mother talking about how she once saved Reveria from doom. Can I do now as she did then? Of course you can. We all can. Lunares, the color is shifting. The X is getting quite red. Noelia was right. We're running out of time. In order to save Reveria from destruction, we must find a way to harness all of its resources. If we cannot find a way to do this soon, I fear the worst shall befall us. Yuelia? Let me go, mustache. And father? Your Highness, please, you mustn't run up there. It's too dangerous. Stop treating me like I'm some sort of child. I'm a grown man inside a child's body. My dearest daughter Laura, my loving wife Ophelia, you are both safe. I was so worried about you. Ah, and Satu, and you, strange girl from Mount Snow Peak. You must be Euelia. Hello! The great spirit in Layla filled me in on everything. I apologize, I could not arrive earlier. Royal Mattis tied me up at the castle. Licking, pile off your, uh, licking apple pie off your robe tied you up. Silence, you're just jealous you didn't get any. Now, child of Lunaris. Yes, yes, your highness. Um, we have all been deeply touched by your devotion to the land of Reveria. You have given us reason to see folly of li uh, see the folly of living life in fear rather than love. By crossing many lands and befriending many leaders, you have shown us uh, to be truly one land. 
No longer shall we bound, be bound by silly local laws or obsolete oaths. I have spoken with the Great Spirit. We have agreed to join the forest with the rest of Avaria. Only through this unity can we forestall the threat that we all currently face. Pino, that means we can be friends with all the humans again. Joy. Dearest, I'm starting to remember why I married you. It's the lack of facial hair, isn't it? Well, I'm glad to feel appreciated, dear. Now, if I may, ahem. I have made a decision to hold the Reveria Summit. We shall gather representatives from every region and combine our skills and knowledge to decide upon a decisive course of action. Everyone shall attend the heroes, the sorcerers, the pirates, even the spirits. All those who reside in our glorious land of Avaria. Our theme shall be Save Your Planet. And there shall be cookies and tea for everyone. Oh, that sounds quite lovely. The tea is a nice touch. I am proud of you for committing, your, uh, committing to working with the other kingdoms, Father. A word of praise I just heard from my daughter. My, I'd almost forgotten what that sounded like. I feel so much more positive about the chances of this happening now. Just one last item then, Hughes. Will the ship fly? Well, yes, about that. The ship shares several design characteristics with the contemporary airships. However, the engine is complete, uh, composed of several mechanisms I've never seen before. I need time to examine them. Time and manpower. Loiterers to attention. Us? You want us to do something with the engine? Bro, this could be it. This could be our big calling. He needs assistance for research and you and me. Rar rar, get a life. Now, Butch, you know that as a natural-born leader, I could never be anyone's assistant. I will be an assistant. Professor Hughes, kindly accept my loyal service. I shall break my back to get this airship flying. It is still creepy that Pierre is so attracted to Layla, who is clearly a young teen. It has long been my dream to serve as a research assistant aboard an ancient ship of legend. Indeed, in my younger days, I often considered taking up carpentry, sailing, and assistantship. Uh, assistantship. Yes. We need all the help we can get. If you're willing to work, then please climb aboard. Satu, there is something I still. Uh, there's someone I still need to apologize to. Pam has been just as much of a friend to me as anyone since I arrived here. Former butterfly Uelia. Yes, your highness. I offer you a king's congratulations on your discovery of the legend goddess ship. Meaning my congratulations, I am the king who congratulates. I really need to stop doing that. Preparations for the Reveria Summit may take some time, but we will hasten er, we will try to hasten the process. You should take all this opportunity to rest and refresh yourselves. Might I return to the castle for a bit? There is someone I wish to speak with. Of course. Return to wherever your non butterfly wings shall take you. Go tell Pam of your great deeds here, and please remind her that her insurance premiums are due. Y yes your highness, thank you. I think we'll return to the castle shortly. Thank you all for your help, Laura. I want to uh, I want you to know that you're a wonderful friend. I can only say, say the same to you as well, Euelia. I shall return to the castle to help mother and father, and plan this Reveria summit. I shall see you again, all again soon. Okay, Satu, let's return to the castle. I need to talk to Pam immediately. Laura left your party. Yes, thankfully you can just teleport back. Let's go ahead and uh, push the wrong button first. Map. Go home. Your home, let's go. Oh, and such a beautiful little flask thing. I do not like the sun. I prefer the moon, admittedly. What's up, Pam? Check it out. Oh my, welcome back, you two. Where have you been off to all this time? We've been to the Elderwood. There was a village in there filled with spirits and a huge tree that we climbed up. And when we got there, we could see all of Reveria, and there was this great spirit, too. It was amazing. Well, you must be tired from such a journey. Save the stories for tomorrow. For now, you should get some rest. I'm with you on that one, Pam. Wait a second, you... you know who I am? Hm? What do you mean? You're Butterfly, of course. How could I not know who you are? Did you change something? D did, did I? <laughs> Teehee, oh my dear. 
Did you honestly think I didn't recognize your voice from our stargazing conversations? I figured it wasn't any of my business why you chose to be a girl by night and a butterfly by day. Mm, don't we all have a, a few peculiar habits? I'm not one to judge. Oh, well, Herm. It was meant to be a secret. I didn't know you knew. Well, you can rest assured I told no one. Next time I see you, I'll act more surprised. I did find this on my doorstep. It looks like another gift from the king. Ooh, 15,000 dosh. He may, uh, he also had some divine sugared water sent over. Would you like a taste? It's quite good. Um, well, uh, um, that's okay. Now that I'm not a butterfly, I guess I can say I'm not really a fan of sugared water. Oh my, isn't this, uh, isn't it the worst when you pretend to like something and it snowballs into a, you know, thing? Well, you go on and get some rest. You've earned it. Tale of Lunaris, by w which I mean only chapter five, completed. Ooh, 15,000 XP. I would have just been 1,500. Yeah, that was 1,500. Oh, you well, you left my party. Hello, Robin. I'm sorry, question mark, question mark, question mark. No luck today either. I know it's out there in the sky somewhere, though. One day, I swear it, old man. One day, I'm gonna find it. Robin! Yes, sir? Get over here, will ya? I'm not paying you to stand around doing whatever it is you're doing. Be right there, sir. What's wrong, my dear? You were gazing at the goddess statue the other night as well. Sigh. Yeah. Once I start thinking of mother, my mind just goes off in so many different directions. You are a sweet child. A child is a mother's greatest treasure. Her legacy, if you will. I only wish I could have told my mother how proud of her I am. She did so much. Carrying on her name, her spirit, and inside you. Her life is thanks enough for any mother. Do you really think so, Pam? I know so. Now I'm off to bed and get some rest. Or now off to bed and get some rest. People are relying on you, my dear. You're right. Good night. And Pam, thank you. New quests added to Butterfly's request. I've only been recording for 22 minutes, and a lot of this is going to be travel, so that's what the rest of this episode's going to be. I've almost played this game for 60 hours. Met the sweet spirit in the Elderwood. Okay, let's see what I gotta do. Butterfly's quests. Talk to the great spirit. Uh, talk to Layla. Uh, yep. Mm. Revaria Summit. Yeah, so talk to Pino. Talk to Layla. Talk to the great spirit. Emotions run high, blah, 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 Queen Ophelia. And the airship. Easy enough, let's go talk to Ophelia first, since she's in town. No new mail? What if I want to buy a house in the, um, uh, Elderwood? What's up, Ophelia? You two are already back at it? I thought you might take a moment or two to rest. There's something about meeting such a wonderful people uh, that is quite energizing. Yes, I believe uh, I've been lucky enough to have made friends with some extremely exceptional individuals. It was quite lovely to see the great spirit. It has been such a long time. She said she hasn't seen you since you were a girl. That is true. I have spent much of my years growing up thinking upon and missing the forest. I designed this courtyard so I could feel at least a bit of nature here inside the castle. I also sometimes decorate my walls and floor with these sorts of designs. Ooh, forest wall. And woodland floor. I hope you'll make good use of them. Why didn't you ever go back and visit the forest? Well, there was the risk the village uh, would have been destroyed or discovered by others. Naturally, Eric would worry about me, so I would have taken attendance along. So I would have to take attendance along. And you, no, you see how Pierre and Butch bumbled their way into the village, even this, uh, even just this one time I visited. That's actually a good point. There's a good chance they would have bumbled into a, er, there's a good chance they would have bumbled into a lot of things. Well, while it's true that we live in a world of peace-loving citizens, everybody has different ways of thinking. Uh, some of which could be dangerous for the forest spirits. At least Pierre and Butch are harmless. See, long ago the Elderwood was infested by dark magic. 
If it hadn't been for the Great Spirit protecting the forest, who knows what would have happened. We would probably have a north grassy plains now where the forest once stood. I guess sometimes I can be a little naive about things like that. No, I often wonder if perhaps I simply worry too much about these things. I thought it was too early for humans and spirits to be re reunited. Turns out I was wrong. When I saw you two, Laura and Pino, uh, Laura, Pino, and Layla, I knew if it were to happen, the time is now. You all managed to build a wonderful friendship, regardless of who or what you are. Of course, that's what friends do. You make it sound so simple, Euelia. I hope all beings will be able to see through your lens. I will do everything I can to make that hope a reality, for if it's true, it is in fact simple. Now, for it's true, it is in fact simple. Yep, your wish has been heard, Queen Ophelia. So that's what you want most, then? Well, your wish has been heard. I've got a good feeling about that wish. Do you really think so? Everyone in Reveria has been so kind, even to a simple butterfly like me. It's clearly inside them. All they have to do is open themselves up and let that energy fly. You have a most wonderful, wonderful perspective, Euelia. Our world is better for having you in it. Indeed, I think you may be right. And thank you for helping me believe again in what is truly important. Sometimes I feel very lonely. Laura is really lucky to have a strong mother like Queen Ophelia. I think I'd like to talk to the Queen a bit and see uh, if that's okay. Yes. What's up, Pino? Ah, oh, good to see you too. I was hoping I would get to speak with you before the summit. Are you attending the summit, Pino? Yes, unfortunately, the Great Spirit is unable to leave the forest for logistical reasons. I can't wait for the summit to start. It's going to be a big step in the right direction for Oliver Varia. What? Well, I thought learning to trust you two, uh, learning to trust you two and your band of acquaintances, or through learning to trust you and your band of acquaintances, I realized perhaps humans aren't all bad. However, it may be also true that you two represent the exception rather than the rule. I don't think that's true at all. Since I came here, everyone I have met has been kind and quite friendly. Well, we're creatures of the for er, we creatures of the forest. Creatures of the forest have long been separated from humans, you see. I just don't know. Uh, perhaps it is time for us to become united as one Reveria. I don't know if the humans and our spirits are ready for this. Many of the forest spirits are deeply afraid and distrustful of humans. And I'm sure such feelings would go the other way as well, if humans knew we existed. Perhaps at first, but I think we could overcome it. We have to trust each other, you know. I have traveled quite a bis bit across the land. I have seen a goodly amount of... Uh, I've spent a goodly amount of time in each kingdom. And I cannot say that everything I saw was com a complete vision of peace and bliss. I witnessed petty fights between pirates and the young governor in Port Puerto. In El I saw a royal family that seemed to isolate their child in the name of uh, enacting revenge. There I also witnessed dim-witted would-be heroes blindly hoping for glory as they shook like cowards. Can you truly say these humans would not destroy the peace of the forest given the chance? But the great thing about people is that they can always change, Pino. Lady Olivia has made amends with the pirates. Lady Demona was under a great deal of stress and is now fully committed to the well-being of her family. The heroes we've met seem willing to listen and respect Lord Damien, well, most of them. I'll admit Magnificus can be a bit trying to deal with, but just let me, uh, just let him, uh, yeah, just let him think he's in charge and it's okay. I should have suspected that beneath everything there was a good nature lying in wait. I do not doubt your words, but I must confess my own questions come f uh, from my fear. I trust that most humans mean well, and yet I am still apprehensive about having contact with them. But I must remind myself, it is only my own fear, and this is fear, er, and it is fear that separates and divides. I must be strong for the sake of the kingdom, or the forest, and for the sake of Reveria. This is not a kingdom. It's not a cave either, though. Well, Pino, your wish has been heard. Forgive me for expressing my unfair judgment. I don't want it to be your impression of me. 
I know how you feel. I was nervous before coming to Reveria too. Satu, I have something to request of you, if you would be kind enough to hear it. Would you consider allowing me to accompany you on your travels sometime? The world I saw when traveling alone did nothing but fill me with concern. However, I have a feeling that if I traveled with you, perhaps you could show me a different perspective. Yes. Don't worry, I'll try not to talk your ear off. It's funny, because uh, this character does not speak at all. Ooh, made 20 allies. What if the great spirits are attending the Reveria Summit? If so, what about food and the doors? We should talk to Pino and find out. Became allies with Pino. Can I buy this? Let me buy this house. I want it. Yep. <laughs> That's most of my money. Yep. Let's go ahead and talk to uh, Leia, who is in Pino's house. Are you freeloading in here? Why did I just spend so much dosh? I'm going to need that to level up in my lives. Satu, you Elia. Layla, it's good to see you. How are you feeling? I'm just fine now, thanks to you. It's been so busy in the forest since we started working on the goddess ship. Are those two goons causing you any trouble? Pierre and Butch, you mean? They're always hard at work, from dawn till dusk. Really? Yes, they're an odd pair, aren't they? It is very rare for a monster to grow so attached to another species, especially humans. But Chompy trusts those two as if they were part of his family. That must speak uh, to their possessing pure hearts. Um, aren't uh, monsters ever wrong? Teehee, maybe. But all three of them are very kind. Pierre has been looking in my direction quite a bit, but he won't speak to me, so I asked him out. What? You did? Is that, uh, is that wrong? I look forward. Er, is it too forward to do that with a human? I asked him to gather some mushrooms with me. He ran off, stopped, then accompanied me. But he still didn't say anything the entire time. Yeah, that is kind of weird. He certainly has a good eye for mushrooms. He could rival even our best mushroom pickers here. I think he's had quite a bit of practice with that. The humans I've met recently have shown me how much there is to learn in the world. There's fr uh, these friendships have happened so quickly, and yet the bonds feel well-worn, in a good way. I can't wait to visit other parts of Reveria so I can meet other humans. Well, if that is what you want most, Layla, your wish has been heard. Did you make that light happen just then, Euelia? Yeah, I sparkle sometimes, I can't help it. That's amazing. Is there no limit to your wondrous powers? Ha, huh, well, you know, I mean, maybe someday we'll have time to sit down. I could teach you some tricks. Oh, that would be so wonderful. I would love to be able to sparkle on cue. Do you think maybe once all of this is over, since Pino said I would be free to travel, perhaps I could accompany you and Satu on one of your journeys sometime? You can now invite Layla on your travels whenever, or to your party whenever you like. Whatever. Of course, we'd like that. What do you say, Satu? They like the idea. Great. I look forward to making new friends with the two of you at my side. I'd love to go and visit Layla again. Just make sure uh, just make sure she's alright. It would set my mind at ease to know she's okay. Or she's feeling okay. Wow, I'm tired and unable to read. Nobody ever watches these, but then I... While recording, it's like, wow, I've stumbled over 7,000 words. Fascinating. Let's go ahead and talk to Danuta, and then in the episode. What's up, giant bear? Hello again, great spirit. I bid you welcome, child of Lunaris, and to you, child of Reveria. Child of Lunaris, it is a bit on the formal side. You can just call me Euelia. Uh, that is, if you want to, great spirit. Ha. Oh, my apologi apologies, young Euelia. It would indeed be a shame to let such a lovely name go unsaid. Thanks, my mother chose it, that name. Of course, dear Celestia. Young Euelia, wouldst thou do me a favor of showing me thy true form? Sure. Ah, yes, there truly is so much of Celestia in thee. Seeing you takes me back to when I was but a cub. You were close to my mother, Great Spirit? Or were you close to my mother, Great Spirit? Indeed I was. Dear Celestia came to this world when I was still very young. 
My wish was among the many wishes she gathered, with, uh, granted with her special gift. You mean even the great spirit had something to wish for? Hoo hoo ha! Yes, my little one, indeed I did. So what was it? What did you wish for? I wished for a friend to play with. Really? Hoo hoo! It is rather embarrassing to say now, I must admit. Ah, oh, I think it's sweet. But it truly was my deepest wish, and your mother was more than happy enough to grant it. Dear Celestia often visited me, dawn till dusk. We did more than play, she taught me many things. She taught me about Reveria, nature, and feelings. She also taught me how to speak like humans. Well, I must say, my mother was a great teacher. Indeed, of course, she also asked many questions. I told her of things I knew in return. She was especially curious about the forest and its inhabitants, and what we ate. I may have grossed her out a few times, but I sense she uh, I sense her same curiosity in thee, young Uelia. Ha, she's probably right, or you're probably right. Our time together was wonderful. It was something I shall never forget. As she did so much for me, I am glad to see the day when I can fulfill my promise to her. May the heavens bless your journey, young Uelia, for I know that your mother looks upon you kindly. No, thank you, great spirit, for your wonderful words and for all, the, all of your help. Meeting you has been a blessing for us. You are welcome. Visit me any time. This, um, this world that dear Celestia loved so much shall prove to be a good home for all of us. As long as we prove to be kind and generous protectors that uh, are in all of our natures. Yes. Did not get a wish from uh, Denuta. Going to turn back into a butterfly? Of course you are. Well, we would, love, uh, we would love to come back and hear more of your stories when there is time. I would like that very much. Here, Satu, please take this with you. Ooh, a durable charm. The whole of the Elderwood is with you. I can sell that and make some of my money back, because wow, I just spent a lot of money on a house. Earn the trust of great spirit. Indeed I did. Let me double check that that is all of them. Oh, the Lunar ship. Okay, one more, one more, let's go. What you doing up here, Butch? How's the research assistant go assistance going, Butch? Huh? Being a re research assistant isn't exactly what I thought it'd be. For some reason, I thought it'd be more glamorous. Rar rar! No photographers, no reporters. Searching for materials, carrying them back, stripping vines from the ship and stuff. I mean, it's okay. But getting stuff and taking it from one place to another is pretty much the same life I had before. Butch, if you've got time to talk, you've got time to just get over here and help me. Bro is acting all weird again lately. He ate a bad mushroom, didn't he? Nah, we do that all the time. Here, have one. This is a truffle. These are very good mushrooms. I have a few, but I do need them in cooking. I don't know what it is, but Pierre is all, you know, working and stuff. Like he actually likes doing it. It's a pleasure to see you're working so diligently, Pierre. Keep it up. Shut it, Hughes. I'm not doing this to impress you. Well, I see. That's quite all right. As far as I'm concerned, it matters not why you're working. Only that you are working. If we can get the ship operational, everyone will stand to benefit. If you've got time to stand around and talk, you've got time to just give me some work, will ya? I would like Layla to know how, uh, to know how to think. I would like Layla to know who to thank when all of this is done. Easy enough. Uh, go fetch me the parts I requested from the village. Right away. And have my next task ready for me by the time I return. Just look at that. Maybe he's sick or something. Lovesick, maybe. Hello! You're just in time to help me retrieve some items from the village. Your work ethic is suddenly very impressive, Pierre. Can I ask you what's changed? No, you know, I'm just... I guess I've finally found my calling, that's all. As soon as I saw her, I... It was a, like a shock went through my whole body. I had never seen such beauty. I can no longer hide it, but Layla is my calling. I want to shout it from the treetops. Layla is my calling. Still kind of creepy, not gonna lie, Pierre. Um, okay, just calm down. Your wish has been heard. 
Have you talked to Layla about how you feel? Oh no, I can't do that. Girls like strong, silent type, so I don't know if I'll ever talk to her. Oh dear, you might want to rethink that last part. Really? Well, I've learned quite a bit since we're, we've been up here, so let me tell you something. What's that? By all means, enlighten me. All a man needs in life is to find that which he truly loves and never speak and make some dosh. I don't think that's how your credo goes, bro. In fact, I don't think I don't think that's how any credo goes. He may be doing repairs here, but he's definitely got a screw loose. Rar rar. Yep, I wonder how repairs to mothership are going. Learned about the goddess ship. Now we can end the episode. I do want to make it to Terra Nimbus before I have to stop recording. Like, this video is ending now, but I mean, like, in this session. It's currently 1.17, as in in the morning. I use a 24-hour clock. It's not important. Uh, but I've got to shower and get ready and everything, so I have to stop by, like, 1.50. So another 40 minute... Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more. Visit if I